would like to thank our esteemed guests. So the hints you found in the Kenway House lead to the monument. What a wonderful use of your time. Follow me around asking obvious questions. Well, since Henry isn't here, I thought you might enjoy the company. I don't require any company, and Mr. Green is following up on some leads of his own. Oh, yes, Mr. Green. That's a fascinating idea. Oh, please, Mr. Green, come and take a look at this book and stand oh so close to me, Mr. Green. I do not. Oh, perhaps you have nothing better to do, but I'm busy protecting the assassins. Are you really? What was it Father used to say? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Precisely. Anyway, I'm off. If I find any more wild geese for you to chase, I'll be in touch. It'll be ever more pleasant for your absence. Please, show some respect. In an effort to ensure so great a tragedy will never happen again. I would like to thank our esteemed guests, the Right Honourable Premier Disraeli, members of Parliament and others, for being here today. Our proposed legislation will ensure that housing for the impoverished need not be a fire hazard. We have heard your concerns. There is no need for shouting. Please hold down. There's no need for all this disruption. Too many today live in what are little better than hovels, in crowded conditions near open flame, and with few methods of fire control. Will you please stop shouting? You are only being moved out of your home. Israeli, members of Parliament and others, for being here today. Our proposed legislation will ensure that housing for the impoverished need to Maybe. We have heard you. Please calm down. There's no need for all this disruption. Too many today live in what are little better than hovels, in crowded conditions near open flame, and with few methods of fire control. Follow me. All right, then.
This looks familiar.
It's in the very top. The key to the vault and the shroud. Good day, Miss Fry. I'll take that. You want the shroud to cement your own power. But what if you cannot control it? Why do you want the Shroud? Merely to keep the Templars from having it? How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life, and yet be too afraid to use it. Eternal life? Is that what you think the Shroud offers? What I think is no longer your concern.
Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. Our usual tonics aren't working. A cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. She simply collapsed? Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. <laughs> this one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. There you are. Huh? <laughs> 
go on. There you go. Here now. enough. These supplies are meant for Miss Nightingale. I'm here to collect them. And they're already loaded on the cart. Please take them. Get up! You mean that cart? Yes. Of course it is. Please be careful. Some of those items are fragile. Not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Pablonelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambeth is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. 